I'm feeling your energy And shorty man, she really into me I got lots of enemies And they wanna act like they friends with me I came out from bummy tees Now catch me just rocking Javonti They all wanna call me I swear they be on me uh, I'm feeling your energy And shorty man, she really into me What's good YouTube, it's your boy MX5 back with another video. So in today's video, I got y'all a little gameplay in the background. As y'all can see right here, it's just a little gameplay of, you know, just my playmaking shot creator shooting. And after the gameplay, I'll show y'all my badges. Now, y'all want to make sure y'all use these badges. These badges are really important to use if you want to be able to shoot really well, especially um, two of the badges. That I'm talking about in this video right here so I'm just like commentate over the gameplay and then once the gameplay is over I'll show y'all the jumper right away so yeah let's just get straight into it so I'm running with a my friend right here bully in the paint and he's a pretty good center um, shout out to him but uh, yeah he got he got me like a couple of these gameplays which is pretty good but um as y'all can see you know just a little I got that shot off quick, real quick, and one of the badges is quick draw, which is really important, but I'm going to just tell y'all about some of the jumpers in the, um, during the gameplay, um, but I saw it right there, as y'all can see, but he, my boy gets the steal, and then he just puts it back up, um, it's really just easy to play this game when you're running with a good center, but, um, yeah, so anyways, I'm just chilling right now, you know, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm trying to get myself open, just trying to get easy buckets. Um, and, you know, he sells right there, but it's all right because, you know, we're always going to end up with a clutch. But um, while I'm shooting, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and look at the top right corner to look at some of the badges that activate when I shoot because those are the badges that you're going to probably need. But there also are more badges, so don't just look at those badges and just put those on and act like that's it. Like, there are more badges that I use. Um, but I'll just show y'all right after the gameplay, all right? Now, you know what I'm As y'all can see, he's out here just clamping this guy up right here. He can't get the board, but it's all right, though. Because he ends up getting the board after, like, four tries. But, um, yeah, I'm just trying to get myself open right here. Um, green, but it doesn't count because it's an illegal screen, which sucks. But, yeah. So... We just uh, turned the ball over again, but it's whatever because, you know, we're going to end up with the dub anyways, so it doesn't really matter. And I've been running with Bully in the paint lately, and he's been a pretty good center right now. I still do need more centers to run with, so if y'all are centers, and I preferably if you're a shooting center, that would just, like, be the best because shooting centers are just so helpful because, like, I just like to play ISO. I don't really like to use screens, even though that might be the most effective way to to play, obviously. But, um, yeah. So, we're out here. At, we're up, down, or up by one point right now. And, as y'all can see right there, just get the ball back again. He reaches, and it's simple as that, all right? Now, uh, I don't know. Something about this build is just kind of... I don't know. I made a new build. I made a new lockdown build. Uh, I've been making... I made a slashing defender, but it's like a lockdown. So I want to be able to play defense, but at the same time be able to score as in like dunking and slashing and stuff like that. And yeah. So I'm probably going to be working on that new build, but I don't see pull up with another green. Um, but yeah. So I've been, you know, trying to make another build just to have more fun with this game this game's kind of dry you know this with this playmaking shot creator like i can't really do anything in the paint with this player and this player can't play defense either so i'm really thinking about making or i actually already did make the lockdown defender build i'll try to grind him out just get all his upgrades and get all his badges and stuff like that soon and as i'm seeing right there green bean but um just the thing is like i defense is such a like important thing in this game and i feel like this player my playmaking shot creator just can't play defense for anything like he's so 
he always lacks behind people he can't really guard anybody and he can't really guard the paint either which sucks so you know i made myself a slashing lockdown right or slashing defender or something like that pretty sure but it's something along the lines of that so new videos hopefully are gonna come out for that build but that's only gonna be after i grind them out a little bit and um uh, yeah so i'm out here just trying to get this dub trying to get some game plays in for the for my videos and stuff like that and 2,000 subs on the way y'all make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe you know what i mean i'm trying to hit that 2,000 before the year ends obviously and yeah so we're at 19 to 4 right now and i'm pretty sure he just ends it off with a layup but uh yeah so if, i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the jumper or not the jumper the badges that i use and i'm actually will show y'all the jumper also but um yeah and the jumper the jumper was shown in the last video also so i'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all the video y'all will see some black screen here just the end of the gameplay but yeah let's just straight into the badges and the jumper all right so here are the badges uh, i'm gonna mainly show y'all my shooting badges but I'm, i'll show y'all all my badges just in case y'all want them i don't know but uh the shooting badges are the most important thing for this video at least and I have difficult shots on Hall of Fame because, you know, obviously sometimes you're going to have to take a fadeaway because your opponent or defender is not going to always let you have the easy standing shot, all right? So difficult shots is great. And it's good for shots for off the dribble. Green machine is really important because if you hit that first green or if you hit two greens in a row, it boosts your percentages up like a lot and have it on Hall of Fame. Um... Corner Specialist Hall of Fame is also really good for fadeaways. It just helps in general. It it just does, all right? I've seen a big improvement in my fadeaways from the side or from the corner. And not even the three-point line, too. It can work for the three-point line, but also, like, the mid-range area in the corner. It helps a lot, all right? Now, corner... or These two badges right here are probably the most important badge. Like, if you don't have these two, then you're a walking L, all right? But... Right here, quick draw Hall of Fame. Uh, obviously, you want to be able to put the shot up as fast as possible because the releases this year are slow. Like, they are really slow. And y'all just want to make sure y'all can throw that bit up real quick, all right? But uh, range extender is also really important because if you don't have this badge, you can't shoot from anywhere, bro. You can't shoot from three-point line. You can't even shoot from deep middies, all right? So make sure you have that on Hall of Fame or the max that you can get it. And then... The silver badge I have is Tyler Shooter, but this is like a less important badge than these five badges. So you can really can like put this on or put this on any other. You can like make them two bronze badges. Like say I want it on both of these or Volume Shooter or something like that. Um, so you can really adjust whatever you want to. Just kind of play around with what you think works best for you. That's what I like about this year. You can adjust your badges. So like Tyler score I just have it on Tyler score I might actually put it on a volume shooter just to see you know just to test out some badges that might work actually hot, hot start I'm gonna test that out haven't tested out I haven't tested that badge out in a minute but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all my other badges I'm not really gonna be going in depth to them though because there's no point it's not really the point of the video but I just have these two right here and I do regret it <coughs> But I do regret having a contact finisher on gold because my player is not even a finishing archetype. So there's no reason to have it. I'm going to probably, once I get my last badge, I'm really close. I'm going to put that on, uh, let's see. I'm probably going to put that on either Acrobat or uh, what's it called? Uh, that foot thing. Fancy footwork right there. Because um, I'll... You know, I, I use hop steps a lot, but I feel like if I have that badge, it will be overpowered, right? Now, my playmaking badges. These are my four playmaking badges that I have on Hall of Fame. Unpluckable, and I don't even think this, this junk works. Like, I'm going to just be honest. I get ripped by every defender, bro. Like, I get ripped so often. I don't even think this badge works, but I just have it on. Quick first step is really important. Um, actually, I'm going to turn off Unpluckable. And put that on tight handles just to be able to freeze up defenders but um quick first step really good just so you kind of get that little speed boost off of the first step obviously handles for days so you don't 
have an asthma attack while you're dribbling and then you know because you, you don't want to be dribbling two dribble moves and then lose your energy right but uh yeah so that's what i have that on and then i have dimer for if i have if i'm playing with like shooters which again if y'all are shooting centers out there for y'all shooting centers out there hit me up comment below i'll add y'all we can run some 2k make sure y'all like a shooting center or just some type of big men that can shoot i'll, I'll run with y'all i just need some more people to run with and yeah those are my four playmaking badges and then uh i'm gonna go confirm that right quick and then my defensive badges and rebounding badges intimidator on gold and clamps on silver and to be honest this, this jump really doesn't even matter for my build at least like my build can can't guard for anything so i can just adjust this adjust this kind of a little bit around i might actually turn off clamps actually no i'm gonna leave that as it is because i've made a lockdown anyway so that it doesn't really matter i'm gonna play start playing on my lockdown and stuff like that but yeah so those are my badges if y'all enjoyed the video or i'm gonna include or conclude the video right here if y'all enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new 2000 subs on the way you already know and you already know i'm gonna be grinding 2k20 or 2020 but i'm gonna be grinding this december too so for the rest of the year i'm gonna just be straight grinding trying to hit this 2000 subs maybe maybe even more i don't know but make sure y'all please drop a like on this video comment below what your build is or just whatever you want to comment below all right just comment below turn on post notifications subscribe once again i'm sorry if i'm just kind of throwing all this at y'all but please subscribe right i need this right? i need y'all support right y'all support means so much to me and yeah so that's pretty much it um and yeah i'm out and i'm probably gonna be posting another video tomorrow so stay tuned and yeah i'm out